Okay, um, after showing uh, how I do my layer shader in uh, Octane, a couple of people come back to me and they ask me if I could show uh, how to do it in V-Ray or in Monterey. For today, we will go over V-Ray. The, um, the stuff I will be showing is basically that gurney and how I do the layer shader on it. Uh, that's a model I did buy and I did rebuild some part of it that I needed to be rebuilt for my purpose. And um, I guess now it's time to show you what we have. Okay, basically we have uh, the gun with the environment map, nothing very crazy, just an area light to catch some uh, light somewhere on the meta and let's do an IP here render to see what we have okay IP here will be starting now I guess here, okay IP has started let's make it a little bit smaller, somewhere here so, as for the shader we have three shader on the gun obviously we will have uh, what I call silver keep it uh, white what I call the wood would be brown for now here and uh, black so as always my video is uh, mostly real time I will try to cut as little as possible for you to see and understand my process I might crash at some point but it's okay I will restart and uh, we will take it from there So let's see uh, for the material. Let's start maybe with the silver. Let's make it kind of uh, silvery. Uh, let's go here. Uh, we will load a color map here, which I will find somewhere on my computer. I don't even know where it put it. Let's see here. Dropbox here. You need a cup Too fast. Vini here. Perfect. Then we have. Um, so of diffuse that would be good enough that's a quick texture pass i did in um, Mudbox with very 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 quick uv texture intense uh, let's see what we have on the texture i have the engraving on the side and the dirt and everything and we will build our layer upon that so we said it's uh, sil supposed to be silverish let's put some good reflection on it let's put some glossiness on it somewhere there and uh, maybe a little bit more yeah, let's assume that's what we want now the next step would be to do the same for the wood and for the black area so silver wood just to get the base layer basically or the base material so that will get the diffuse color again because it's the same for all of them and the wood here will get also the diffuse color here you can see in my IP here everything is updating in real time let's look at the wood the wood would be again slightly reflective with a very very high reflection glossiness here I don't care if the, the look is perfect at this point I can also as always treat my material later and the intent of purpose of this video is to show you how to do the layer not how to do the exact value of, of the wood or the paint or whatever I'm doing okay let's go to reflection a little bit more glossiness here like that okay so now I could be like oh that's good enough but actually no it's never good enough uh, let's move to the silver here and look what we can do with the bump here we will go to the bump channel and assign bump texture here uh, so of the diffuse of wood bump softer soft diffuse black arabesque mask okay this is basically the texture will be used as a bump as a mask for the arabesque engraving on the gun so there you can see everything is going crazy because it's way too high which means here on the silver I will take my bump down to 0.03 probably and probably even lower 0.03 okay now as soon as IP I will have calculated a little bit more you will see that I have those nice engraving which are maybe uh, still a little bit too strong 0.1 would be good okay when i am done with engraving i need to make sure later that i get another material inside the, the engraving block just to get the, the dirt feeling so 
Um, I am recording for some time now. Like let's see, the recording is uh, three minutes. Around around seven minutes, ten minutes, I will do a break and cut it to be able to start a new rendering, just in case something crash. Okay. Um, next will be we have the silver, the base silver. We have the base wood, the base paint. Let's continue to look at the silver. What I know for sure is that when I have the silver, I need now to make a, a layer shader. So I will create my very material, a blend material. The first one will be silver here. Up, down. Now on top of the silver, let's say I want some type of dirt. Very material. Let's call that. Dirt. The dirt will be kind of brownish. So, the dirt will be this as a coat material, and I will reuse my arabesque mask, which I need a duplicate form, and I will plug it as a mask. So, obviously, I need to select everything that is silver and assign the Vira blend which we still call silver blend so now as you can see the arabesque are nice you can see the dirt we just need to invert the mask since the mask was black on white and we want white on black okay now we can see the arabesque a little bit better and we will want now to assign the next step which will be um, the dirt on the silver I mean the general dirt to do this we will create a new layer which will be a layer of dirt and as a blend we will use file which is here and uh, that will be so of black damage diffuse wood so of dirt here and we will obviously again invert the dirt invert. okay Now it's a little bit too dirty, I will come here and then change the color offset. And the other way, color again. So that's nice. And we will rename that to what do we have here? We have dirt mask, which is a global mask. And here we have our basic so you can see our layer shader is working quite well now let's see what react to the light nice so I will then now stop the video and move to the next part which will be about the wood okay let's have a look at um, the wood the wood, uh, let's come here, black silver, the wood, boom, we know we will want a layer shader, we have the wood as the top one, uh, we could assign the dirt, but before we go further, let us assign the bump, bump map, map, file, Again, those maps have been painted in Mudbox like very, 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 very quickly because I just wanted to see something happening. So uh, let's go here. The bump will be way too high for now. 0 0.001. And as we can see here, the bump is happening. Perfect. Then the next step will be to select what we have here assign the very blend let's call it uh, wood layer then the next step will be to add some type 
of the root which would be here and we will just scrub it down and a mask and uh, let's see for the wood so of diffuse wood bump uh, iris mask we saw just grab we should just grab dirt basically the dirt should be doing the job actually no we will use the soft wood bump and we will invert it again okay that's the reason why i was grabbing it here inverting allow us to have a preliminary pass on the dirt which can be different than the other dot dirt that we will add on top of the game basically let's assume that we don't want dirt but we want um, different wood color let's go here let's uh, wood light um, ah, I said wood light and then we will remove here the color to something more bright remove it change it and draw it there and now as you can see I'm exaggerating the color right that's not the color we want we will want something more akin to that just to get the feeling there's something different happening here between the varnish of the gun of the wood and the, the part that is unvarnished and have been used over time and decayed slightly so but still we still want to have the dirt right that's why we will come here and uh, grab the dirt and we will also grab the texture which is dirt mask and uh, drop it on the blend amount now if i look at the gun you can see we also have the dirt accumulating in the crevice of the wood but we also get the general dirt that will make actually quite black now uh, dirt to be able to see it better let's make it darker so nice now the next step would be to do the same for the for the black part meaning I grab the black by now it should be standard the blend shader here drop the black part in there sorry I mean on top of the base material then before we add the dirt, the dirt we will add some kind of um, bright metal that will be under the scratch of the paint uh, let's call it uh, metal bright for now name don't make any sense anyway you know what let's call it metal okay um reflection color let's keep it like that for now it will be good then uh, we have here we drop the metal here we we'll name this one black layer uh, here we will drop as a blend amount we will drop a uh, file which is here and uh, let's see what we have we have dirt black damage here boom and uh, if we look here on the black layer shader it's what we should have so black select object with material black layer shader assign Let's try again. Nope. Why? I don't know. I don't care. I will just go manually assigning it. It's fast enough. So black layer. As I'm selection again, as I mentioned before, I'm not trying to um, to say that I'm not trying to do some trick what you see is what you get um, it's not doing what I expect I'm probably doing something very wrong and I will try to debug it in front of you right now so I guess my metal for now should be completely ready to allow me to, to see what I'm doing and let me remove the reflection of the metal for now so then my metal is covered with that texture which I will invert and I should see stuff happen but it's not happening so this is quite interesting let's see again 
What am I doing wrong? Maybe just stop the IP here and start a new one. Okay, perfect. You see that's exactly what's happening with IP here. Sometimes it's not updating the way it should. Okay, we select everything that have the black material and we assign the black layer shader. So as you can see, the shader is assigned to the new one, but not to the old one. Let's stop the IP here again and stop the IP here again. So now IP here started and uh, we can now go back to that and reinvert the texture perfect and uh, where there is red obviously we want the metal so meaning the metal should be still a metallic color a lot of reflection and a lot of glossiness okay it's nicely rough now we could also go to the metal and assign maybe a texture map Here, the so black damage. We can assign as a texture map, it's a bump which we need to invert, and it's obviously way too strong. That's why we will take it down to 0 0.002 for now. Uh, maybe one so and the last stuff we need to do basically now we have the gun layer shader right we need to assign the next shader which is dirt with a texture which is dirt mask which is working and uh, do we have the dirt on everything Let's see here, silver and wood. You can see they all have the dirt material going on. Silver have two dirt. Actually, why for the silver? We should keep the dirt, one in the arabesque and one outside. And uh, the silver of here, the metal of here, the black of it. Okay, perfect, they all have it. Now, obviously, it's up to you to just go back to the dirt and start to play with the color. As you can see, since we have um, a layer shader, we can make the dirt whatever color we want. That's ID. So, obviously, we don't want it to be that color. We want it to be like something like that. Okay. I guess now what we are left to do is just to do a render. By the way, we can go super close to it and uh, you can see the nice uh, sculpting of the arabesque. And it's actually what we really want, like in real life, where you have um, the engraving and the dirt accumulating inside the engraving. So I guess uh, start a render and uh, we'll be good to go. I will pause the video for the time of the render. The rendering is now done, as you can see it's kind of uh, boring lighting, but at least it illustrates the purpose of uh, this video. Basically layer shader with different type of material on top of each other. Um, let's go back to the, the original rendering here. Um, the big difference here between what I have here on my screen and the render which I just have done is obviously the lighting. Lighting is very, very important, especially with layer shader, because the idea from layer shader is to have different type of uh, specular and roughness roughness on top I can't speak I can't uh, pronounce roughness it's very very tough uh, uh, specular and roughness on top of each other and the light will allow you and help you to um, to differentiate between those materials very well uh, past that I did some color correction in Photoshop and that's pretty much it I hope you did have fun watching this video I hope that you could have learned one or two things and um, stay tuned for the next one